Joe Biden. Joe Biden's uh, 4th of July comments to U.S. military, a tiny crowd in front of the White House. Well, happy 4th. Thank you. Today we celebrate our independence, we celebrate our liberty, and our freedom. And Jill and I are honored to spend the day with so many military families. Well, thank you for that, Joe. You represent a link in a chain of honor that stretches back to our founding days. True. You are the sinew, the backbone, the reality of why we're who we are. Unbreaking, unbending, throughout our history, remind us that democracy is never, never, never guaranteed. Every generation is plagiarizing must again. fight to maintain it. <laughs> must always cherish it, defend it, and strengthen it. You know, as we remember the extraordinary country this is, I hope we all rededicate ourselves to the essential work of our democracy, which is to unify, to unify, unify this nation. It's not the essential See work each of other democracy. not as adversaries. It's protect the nation. But as fellow Americans. Ensure its prosperity. Let us remember that. While other, while the other nations were formed based on things like geography, ethnicity, religion, America is the only nation in history founded on an idea an idea and that now is he's plagiarizing me be self-evident <laughs> that all people are created equal all and the declaration people, of independence endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights <laughs> among them life liberty and the pursuit of happiness we haven't always lived up to those words but we've never walked away from them and today and all days we have to say clearly, we never will. We never will. It's a shame he doesn't really actually truly believe the words he just said. Spent his entire time in office being divisive, attacking half the country, the 75 million people that didn't vote for him instead of being a unifier. Before he even took office, he attacked Americans, and he's been attacking them ever since, calling Americans who support making America a great country racist and divisionary and insurrectionists in every term he can come up with. For once, he's on topic. Of course, he's plagiarized those words from Reagan and others, me, and even <laughs> the Declaration of Independence. But it is Independence Day. Let's give the guy a break. But Joe had a rather subdued event there. He had one earlier in the day speaking to national educators in which all he said about the 4th of July was happy 4th of July. Apparently now he's going to have a party tonight after his barbecue with the military. But there is not a single thing posted on the White House page. But remember this, folks. This was what happened not all that long ago. He signed Bill S-475 to declare that Juneteenth, the National Independence Day Act, National Independence Day. We have an Independence Day. It's the 4th of July when we declared our independence from the British Empire. Juneteenth is a made-up fraudulent holiday in June for lazy bureaucrats who want a summer holiday when there isn't one in June instead of celebrating the actual end of slavery and bondage in this country, which is the 6th of December, 1865. This act, this law, is a betrayal of American history and it's a total bold-faced lie. But that's the world we live in. This is the Joe Biden. And... If you think I'm just being hyperbolic and complaining about Joe, well, let's take a look at that rather subdued comment there and the tiny crowd, you can hear a few dozen people there, and compare it to two recent events and show you where Joe's true feelings are and how he real feels, it really feels about Americans. This was the gathering at the White House on Juneteenth, the 19th of June. This year, the first formal celebration by the federal government of this fraudulent, disgraceful date in June rather than celebrating the actual date in December. And this is what happened at the White House. Take a look at this photograph. Wow, that's a rather big crowd. Huge screens, massive number of people showing up, bands and everything. But for the nation's independence, we can't celebrate that in any large fashion. Perhaps tonight he'll have something. But he certainly didn't have it this part of the day. And remember how he celebrated the month of June. And this is what it looked like for June. There you go. That's what Joe Biden put out there in June, including a clear violation of the federal flag code. And it was actually a pretty big celebration, folks. I mean, take a look at this crowd that showed up. There's Joe. That's a pretty big crowd. 
it's a shame a man who claims to be a president for everyone spends most of his time denigrating and attacking half the country. Really is a shame. But that is Joe coming up with divisive things as leftists are wont to do, to divide and bifurcate. Now, for those bigots and hate wankers out there that have inferred incorrectly from this video, this is not a anti-homosexual, gay, or even trans video. This is not an anti-pride video. This is not an anti-celebration of slavery. It is an honest discourse on the lies and the political use of those things to divide Americans instead of celebrating things properly. But never fear, folks. While President Biden couldn't be bothered to attend parades or participate in any major events today to celebrate the nation's independence, once again, Biden didn't participate in this, but the residents of D.C. and outlying areas did come to the nation's capital to celebrate the 4th of July in fine fashion, bringing out banners and celebrating your independence from the British Empire. Now, we'll certainly give the president the benefit of the doubt. I suppose he deserves it. The day is not over. There are still events yet this evening. It is after 7 p.m., but there's still a few hours left in the day for him to do something to celebrate the nation's birth and its independence, something worthy of celebrating, something that was an accomplishment, not simply someone's sexual orientation or simply someone's skin pigmentation, an immutable facet of one's existence that cannot be changed. But independence was hard fought for and earned with the blood of patriots and defended with the blood of patriots. And perhaps he can do something yet for us tonight. Maybe even, I don't know, light up the White House just for the nation to see. After all, he could do it for pride. Perhaps tonight we could see this in red, white, and blue. Wouldn't that be special? Something nice to celebrate the nation's birthday on the 4th of July, 2023. But hey, I guess we don't need the 4th of July anymore. Not after Joe and the scumbags in Congress destroyed Independence Day with a fraudulent holiday, falsely celebrating the end of slavery, which didn't end in June of 1865, or with the Emancipation Proclamation. It only ended with the 13th Amendment being ratified on the 6th of December, 1865. So maybe tonight Joe can give us some lights around the White House in red, white, and blue. Wouldn't that be nice? If he does, I'll report on it honestly, but I'm not going to hold my breath. God bless America. Happy 4th of July. For those who are still Americans who believe in the words that Joe Biden said, but we all know he doesn't truly believe in, that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, certain unalienable rights, among them life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Joe butchered all that by changing men to people and other things, but that's okay. At least he held it together. It has to be the most cogent three minutes I've heard him speak in months. Happy Fourth of July, everyone.